remember you asked me that uh, please talk a bit about thyroid cancer and graft mutation. <laughs> Um, these are very specific questions, but which have been answered already many times. And thyroid, cancer. Cancer, I have recently been explaining. It's a slow process of an infectious disease. Basically, a virus and particular chemicals in our body are causing the mutations in the cells so that the cancer condition is created. So, the infectious disease kills you in three or four days. And if you just protract that, it is cancer. So the condition is almost similar. So either it is through virus that we are affecting our uh, genes or through carcinogenic chemicals that we are affecting or combination of both. And that's what is happening in the world in the last 30-40 years. So <coughs> if you understand this in this simple fashion, we don't need all this hangama. So you need to be protective and proactive before it happens. And we have actually figured out the way to live and we can certainly be fearless. So the first and foremost important thing for you is to be plant-based food and that is being a vegetarian. And a lacto-vegetarian is okay for many times because you are converting the milk, which is a, a non-vegetarian material, into a vegetarian material by the fermentation process. This I have explained many places. It is through the microbes that the vegetarian becomes non-vegetarian and non-vegetarian becomes vegetarian. You understand that? So, lacto-vegetarian is okay where it is possible. If not, we can be completely vegan. No issues at all. But then vegan, the concept is misunderstood. People are using soya bean and corn, which are actually genetically modified materials. So, in courts, vegans or vegans should be aware of this soya bean and this corn, which is genetically modified, can cause you cancer. So, as such, you have a good soya bean, which is not manipulated, it's okay with me. Then you want to make sure that it is non-manipulated soya bean. It's okay. But local, local, we go local. So we don't need soya bean. We have in Karnataka, we call Avrekai. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's as good as soya bean or maybe better than soya bean. So we have a lot of diversified food items. We don't need to stick to this industrial food culture. So you don't need soya milk. You can actually have fox style uh -huh. milk or ragi milk or coconut sesame milk or sesame milk. milk or groundnut milk or in America you are actually Americans have wonderful uh, milk material called pine nuts they are simply on the road available tons of it tons and tons in fact they can supply to the whole world they are they are not even looking at that they are all looking at cashew nut milk and all this, this is a business so Americans if they have pine nuts they can go and collect on the road and then get pine nuts and make milk out of it their babies will be very healthy. So that, that's how I deal with things and I see at it. Very simple. 